Oh my god, kidding me. Sorry guys, I just took a run. Anyway, I wanted to... I wanted to talk about something. Just because I just took a run, okay? I just wanted to talk about something. It has something to do with your abilities. Now, you probably knew this about me. If you didn't, that's okay. It's not a big deal if you don't know. I have... I was diagnosed when I was very little with dyslexia. Now, here's the thing about dyslexia. There's a lot of pros to it. And people always say about dyslexia, oh, you have visual spatial processing uh, abilities better than the normal population. Okay, that may be true. That may be true. Uh, but I'm here to tell, I'm here to, I'm here to negotiate. I'm here to not negotiate. I'm here to tell you, tell them differently. Okay. So with dyslexics, yes, we have a hard time manipulating our words, but with that, we may have a spatial awareness that is stronger than most people have when it comes to like visual things. Okay. Well, I'm here to tell you that that might not be true. And the reason why I think this is partially tr not true for me anyway is because I was diagnosed with something other than dyslexia. Uh, that's right, guys. That's a, that is right. I'm not this one lone dyslexic like you all think I am. I actually have something else that impacts my visual spacing, spatial abilities called dyspraxia. Now, dyspraxia, in very odd ways, can destroy the pros of dyslexia, not destroy it, but make it so the pros are a lot less, if that makes any sense. So there are some engineers that have dyspraxia, but they're very uncommon. You're not going to find that many engineers with dyspraxia. And so you're mostly just going to find them with ADHD and dyslexia. That's the thing, right? They, they don't have the visual spatial uh, problems with dyspraxia. And so the major one advantage that dyslexia has, I don't have very well, right? Because of my dyspraxia. Now that this couldn't, could or could not be true. There's not really any scientific evidence to back this up, but I've had an extremely hard time with my spatial uh, awareness or my gross motor planning or anything that with that nature when it comes to dyspraxia. It's a very, in my opinion, dyspraxia is a much more destructive uh, what's more socially awkward, uh, thing to have than dyslexia. It, there's, there's much more shame when it comes to dyspraxia than dyslexia. I think people don't realize how much harder it is to live with dyspraxia. I'd rather get rid of my dyspraxia than my dyslexia all day. It doesn't matter, right? So for me, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't want to change a single thing in my life. I, I honestly think I live in luxury because I live in the United States. It's a beautiful country, if you guys don't know. Uh, but uh, honestly, like it, the world, just because you have these conditions, don't let that define you. But at the same time, know that you don't have the advantages that people claim. I hate it when people say, oh, there's some advantages that dyslexics have. No, I don't have those advantages. I've looked at every single video uh, that I've, I've watched on the pros of dyslexia. And I don't think I have any of them because I have dyspraxia, which counter... In, like, all the symptoms would counteract all the pros. So, just keep that in mind, guys, when someone claims about your condition and they, they say they have all these pros, look into the other condition you might have. Look into something. Now, just because you might struggle with those spatial awareness things doesn't mean you have dyspraxia. But I was diagnosed with dyspraxia when I was very little, so I sort of know. Uh, again, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, a lot of misled people online and you cannot let them define you and you also can't argue with them. You just need to let them be. And when it comes to politics, disorders, languages, gram you know, grammar, case systems, it doesn't matter. Stock market, valuations, right? Doesn't matter. Just let them live in their fantasy land because at the end of the day, when they're 65 and want to retire, they're going to be wondering why they can't retire. They're going to be wondering, why didn't I, why am I having Alzheimer's? Oh, that's right. I didn't study a second language because studying a second language statistically proves that you won't get Alzheimer's that well, right? You won't get Alzheimer's as much. So that's the thing, right, guys? 
you, you guys need to study. You guys need to learn. Without the academics, by the way, do not give a single cent to the academics. Do not give a single cent to academia or the government, right? The main goal is to be self-reliant and learn as much as possible. Don't let your disorders define you and don't let the pros and cons of those disorders define you. Be who you want to be, right? Don't let the yarmulke get to you. Goodbye, children. <laughs>